seconds left. Honest Dealing like Touch Nightmare is going to be there. Come with me, he'll be able to pick up the Bounty Rune and make his way back towards the safe lane. But they're going to Arctic Burn right now here. Bounty Rune is being chased. Decay is going to come off cooldown one more time. And the right click should be able to do it. He's going to, in fact, deny himself to the huge camp. Nice. And Hadouken is going to do it. Oh, it could be a trade off. Sing Sing's going to come in. And it looks like Winter River is going to drop the first blood. Great deny here by Birdie United. And our side, he wants to fight the steal of the life from come with me and he looks like he's gonna be able to run away Courier now joining the fray Arsal trying to go for the kill he will have DK one more time but oh he will get the kill the south I think he south himself right yeah okay great play here by Arsal it was just immediate we're gone I don't I don't know if that was really the play and that's uh, the tower yeah the tower is just a but that's also what I was saying in regards to BKBs and how sometimes getting the later one might not be as effective as you would think against these types of lineups because if they get like another tower off Come with me, he's gonna get coiled and he's gonna get decrep class and yep, he's dead The TPs are coming in and I'm not sure whether they want to fight into this Nether War has been dropped and that should ward away the aggression from Burton United Yeah, they lose their tier 1 though in the process Havos is able to walk up there and just I guess Soul Rip is there but it's only level 1, so it's not really a huge heal one way or another. But well, they have a lot of way to heal. Oh, what a vacuum here coming out, and looks like Necroman's gonna be in huge trouble. He does do a lot of damage before dying. Come with me, he's gonna get burst down as well. Wall being expended as well. TP should be cancelled. Is he gonna actually TP in Sing Sing? It's gonna come in immediately ultimate. And I think Sing Sing will go down. Does drop the ultimate though. Funic on the run. Looks like that is enough to kind of push it one way. All right, oh, here they're gonna go background. Well, they're running into everything, and ooh, they actually get a lot of damage done by Birdie United. I'm not sure where the Crimson Guard or the pipe was. And the Shrak, though, he's taking so much damage. Will die to the coil. Then it blinks in, but he's taking so much damage from Sing Sing's rocket. Oh. Vacuum does land the Winter's Curse on the thing with the BKB on. He's almost dropping here, but not quite. We'll be able to retreat for the time being. And the Shrek in the process. Coil, it lands on three. Sing trying to break in here. They're still trying to take a check. Dagon Dagon from Dead will secure that. And now come with me, walking towards the tier fours. Arcs in the meantime, picking up a double. They're going on the melee racks in this bottom lane. Come with me, throwing a last ditch effort with his Fiend's Grip. Funnick accidentally kills the Necro Book 3. But the game plan from Navi was clear after seeing their lineup. They pick a Pugna very early. They pick it with the Undying. They really, really wanted to push and just aggression all the way. And it seems like so far in both of the games that they've played, that's been what they want to do, and that's been what works. Execution is there. Execution is there. Here? Should be fine. Yeah. He's actually put the first point into his uh, passive, so he should be pretty resistant when he's trying to run away. Yeah, what is it? Oh, oh hook on to Dendi. Is that first? Oh, excuse me, on to Necroman. Yep. Dendi with the hooks. What a player. How successful does this Pudge need to be? Like, are we looking for Dendi to just go, like, beyond godlike? Of course, it would be fun to see, but is it necessary? No. I think... Let's say he disappears off the map for the next five, seven minutes and finds, like, one or two kills. That's already enough. Oh, yes. <laughs> back off. Stampede is available. Wisdom's now trapped on the high ground. Stampede being used. And Shadowfiend kind of have to fight this. Two-man stun coming in. Hobo's going to get brought down. The, oh, actually, the ultimate's going to come through. Hobo's being healed up by the Winter River. And Shadowfiend's going to go in the ass. Or so looks like the Death Rope will take him down. Sock's going to come in, but he's actually being focused by four heroes. It's going to be Navi taking a 4-1 to one fight. Roshan, not low. Uh, Necromant. All right. Wraithbrand or Ring of Akala? Wraithbrand. Okay. No, Akila. So, I gotta say, Burden, they they probably won that. And by probably, I mean definitely. Because not only did they uh, they kill the Aegis Carrier two times, but they get a tier 1 out of it. Backline, Hobos gets initiated on, but... Oh, looks like there's like a gonna be Hope. Dendi gets the quick kill here, but the Blink, the Shadow Fiend with the BKB, do a lot of right click. Necromancer says, Dendi, I know you could do this, but I could do it too. Dendi, it's gonna get brought down as well. Choco for Necroman. Tell with Necroman, Funix also in the area. Uh -oh. He does have a TP available, but I don't think he's going to be able to get away from this one. Chaos is what Navi lives for, and they're winning this fight because of it. Hook is going to get dodged by Sing Sing. Earn, though, is canceling that blink. What a Fissure coming out here by Art Style. And it's going to be a full on collapse by Burden United. I talked about how. In the high ground. Okay, disruption coming out. Blink stun on the Art Style. Winter's Curse gonna be there, Necroman comes in with the BKB, Sasha going down with him trying to channel, but he gets dismembered during the cast, Arcel getting healed back up by that cold embrace, Ooh. the hook's gonna land, gem on deck, somebody needs to pick that up before they go back. 
know what that sprint stun thing is called. Yeah, Funnick is going to surround it, but here comes the uh, Havos with the BKB. Oh, that damn not actually connecting. She supports Tiny immediately, and Necromat BKB, you know, he's going to be going down slow. That's a triple kill on Havos. And it's only the guy right outside of the yeah, ultimate, especially the one in the river around the Roshan pit. That was the absolute game-changing point for me. Is when they take that fight and they they get cursed right away. That should have been a brilliant turnaround from Burden. Instead, they get demolished. And that was kind of the comeback in the mid game for Navi. I feel.